I am a huge thrift shopper and you know what 90% of my clothes are thrifted I think I've been thrifting like more than 20 years even like before that it was a thing so I'll be sharing my top 5 thrift picks and also my top 5 thrift tricks let's get into the video okay so this is my top favorite thing which I bought from the thrift market so I used to go to this market in Delhi where they sell export house rejects and also thrift pieces there was this hanger where which rotates so a lot of women they were trying to find the pieces and I was also there for like more than 15 minutes trying to find the nice piece and I found this shirt I was like wow this is so pretty like it looks like it's a uh, it's a designer piece because the fabric is so beautiful it has like this uh, beautiful button detail and the print is like so vintage and classy I was like wow and i picked it out then there were like a lot of girls they, they were literally like waiting for me to put it back so they can take it. it made me think like why like how you don't see it like it's literally in front of you hanging definitely not in front in front but uh, literally where you're searching the shirt is there what makes a difference that you find it and you don't find it and here comes my first trick is preparations and timings so what I mean by preparation is like you'll have to be fully prepared before you go to the thrift store. You'll have to mentally prepare that you're not gonna get things like in few minutes. It's not a shopping mall where you go and you find like thousand pieces of one design and you just pick and come back. It's like literally finding a treasure. So you'll have to be prepared and also before leaving house just eat proper food. It happened with a lot of time and it was a big mistake I've done that when you're hungry you don't search properly and this makes a huge difference every time i went and i was hungry and i was in the market it kind of also makes you angry so you know hungry angry if i make sense so this was like difference i found like every time i was hungry i felt like i didn't find good pieces and every time I was like chill and nicely fed i was like getting like nicer pieces what about the timing timing is like always go early in the morning when they open the store if you're gonna go in the evening or afternoon beautiful pieces gonna get selected and uh, whatever you're gonna get is not gonna be like really useful during the evening and afternoon it creates a lot of crowd because generally people don't prefer to go early in the morning but if you're like me if you love to shop and if you're crazy for it then you're gonna wake up at 4 a.m also if someone tells you to so the second piece which i truly loved was this beautiful top it has a lace detail i think i'll show you guys here so this flower is like a safety pin so you tuck it in and also you can wear without and you know what this sleeve detail it's so pretty so this is the kind of find where if we, it's not a right size you're gonna literally regret it or either you're gonna resell it or you're gonna donate it honestly that happens with me a lot of times i used to go without any preparation and i used to be like uh, finding pieces and a lot of time like it happened with me like a lot of time that i ended up getting pieces which were like not my size and not a lot of stores or markets have these trial rooms so there are certain things we'll have to carry with you so here comes my second trick like things what you need to carry carry a big tote bag if you're going to thrift stores it's fine but if you're going to thrift markets they give you a small small bag so what you need to do is like take a tote bag and put everything on that it will make your life so much easier keep a water bottle it is very very important sometimes i get thirsty when i'm shopping and thirsty and it's not a good situation and by the end of the time i come home i am super dehydrated and exhausted so carry a water bottle and also carry some cash because not every seller is gonna take uh, online payments so carry cash but most importantly carry measuring tape if you have a measuring tape it's gonna make your life so much easier you can literally check on the spot length on the spot you know waist on the spot and then it will save you to not buy unnecessary stuff okay so this is my third favorite thrift pick and look at it it's so beautiful okay it's very oversized i know but honestly i wear oversized t-shirts or shirts or dresses because i, I just love it and also i'm i've been wearing it like for a longer period of time before even it was a trend as soon as i saw it i was like okay i'm buying this it was like a hundred rupees which is like one euro it was such a nice deal and let me tell you this fabric is not glittery and the fabric is so new to me it's like a, something different it's not woven but it's like it's a very different fabric i was like even if i'm not gonna wear it in a worst case scenario i'm gonna make something out of it because the fabric is so nice and it's such a nice silver thing and also it has like a 
puffy balloon sleeves if you truly manage to style it very well this is a very high fashion item i would say if you're going to the thrift store uh, you generally make a list right like i started making a list before i go to thrift store so you don't do impulsive shopping right but i feel that if you find a very unique piece in a very reasonable price and you feel that you can reuse it or donate it or resell it or maybe use it in a different ways in future just buy it keep an open mind because you don't find these kind of unique pieces in like uh, in thrift store or markets all the time people who love thrift shopping they just pick it you know they know the worth of it and they will just pick it okay so this is also one of my favorite picks it says snack queen which i am as soon as i saw it i was like okay I am going to buy this because look at the colors. It's so nice and if you're wearing something which is like very neutral or monotonous thing, you can literally carry this tote bag. It is so pretty. I was in the market and there was this rack of uh, tote bag and the price was like 150 rupees, which is like 1.5 euro. I saw this bag it was like one piece and I was like why no one is buying this? It is such a beautiful piece. And I went there, then I got to know why people they were not buying because here there were like a square shaped hole so it was a rejected piece i went to the shopkeeper and i was like could you please sell this one for like 50 rupees because it has a defect and i have to work on it and they were like yeah and i knew i could fix it because all i have to do is like to do a straight line of a stitch and then yeah i fixed it i went i went to the tailor asked him to do this stitch and hide the holes and little i got this for like 50 rupees it is such a beautiful piece so the trick is like every time you find something which is really beautiful nice and you badly want it but uh, you find there is some hole or something think about it think if you can fix it then buy it maybe you're going to buy it with a cheaper price because it's a defected piece so of course you're not going to pay full price of the thrift store but if only you know that you can fix it you know if you know that it's a beautiful piece and everything but you can't fix it don't buy it don't waste your money just buy the fixable thing so for that you'll have to keep your mind open you know you don't have to be like okay why am i buying the defected piece as long as you can fix it just buy it okay so here is my most 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 favorite which i'm really proud of that i found it is like so beautiful it's a crochet kind of dress and it has like some kind of beads like the, those long beads like rod beads uh, also in the black and it has uh, let me show you guys it is such a beautiful piece i think i'll share some pictures of mine there wearing it so you can literally wear it in a music festival or in a summer beach party it's just uh, so pretty so here is something what happened when i went to buy this piece is that I had this seller in the market and he used to bring a lot of nice clothes but there was used to be like so much of crowd that you cannot hardly get your hands on it you know so what I did I asked for his number and I was like uh, could you please share like uh, dates whenever you are restocking just message me on whatsapp and he was so sweet that he used to send me the pictures of new collections sometimes and i'm sure there were like many people who had his number but uh, it was so easy for me like every time he used to restock it i used to go and uh, find like immediately this is like a very useful trick if you are a regular thrift shopper this ask the day when they going to restock the collection what you can do is like when you know that the uh, what day is there, like suppose it's monday you can go on monday in the morning first day whenever they are opening and then you you can literally find really beautiful nice pieces like this one i was so proud i was like wow like every time you find a beautiful nice thrifted item which is like perfect it's like such an achievement i hope you understand what i'm trying to say that's like a, one of the most important trick get the number or ask them to send a message or you know something that line so you get to get the fresh collection thank you so much for watching